When the British faction launched in Hell Let Loose, there was an unreal amount of backlash, and rightfully so. But it wasn't just about the actual guns chosen, it was the lack of detail applied to them. When I read the most recent dev blog, I started to get a bit worried, as this is the final part of the rework. Before we get to the gun overlays, let's take a look at the PTE. You can hide in tractors now. Although you can't shoot out of them, it also means that you will be completely safe from gunfire when hiding inside of them. Enemies running by you? Go prone and shoot them in the legs until it's safe to move on. Vehicles and tanks aren't the only ones who can go through trees now. Thankfully, those pesky enemies will no longer be able to use a birch tree as a safe haven from gunfire. Now you may be thinking that this is a feature, not a bug or design flaw, but let me introduce you to the Bren and the word congruency. Things may seem normal to the untrained eye, but as soon as we put a green dot overlay on the screen, you can see that we have a major issue that isn't present on any other gun in the game. This has been this way since update 14 and has still slipped by Team 17's quality control department. Oh yeah, they fired them all. Good thing we can mount the bipod on fences, but don't you dare try to mount that gun on flat ground. The next images we will look at are set to 50% opacity, so we can view two images over the top of one another. The issue here is that for some reason, skirmish mode seems to have a different perspective or FOV compared to the regular game mode. I tried to stand in the exact same spot with my back against a tree, but in the PTE you can run through some of the trees, so I did the best I could. The first thing you will notice is the position of the Sten V1 versus the Sten V5. Kind of odd, and lacks congruency across the rest of the game. Another thing you may notice is the crate on the left. Not sure why, but in the PTE, that crate seems thinner. And if you look at exactly where the overlays don't match perfectly, you will notice in the image with the Sten V5, the roof line of the house is to the left, and the hut made of hay has an overlay line to the right. If I moved forward a foot, it might correct this, but when I actually tried to get an exact copy of the image, I had to stand five feet away from that tree that's to my back. So I thought it would be best to stand in the exact same spot and try to figure out what's going on here. It seems like the perspective is off between game modes. If you played the PTE, then you may have noticed how quick the Sten V5 is to ADS. This might be because the gun already sits higher on the screen versus the Sten V1. I know what you're thinking. What in the hell could still be wrong with the Lewis gun? Well. Team 17 still cannot figure out where the center of the screen is. Even though this gun shoots perfectly out of the center of the sight, the gun needs to be adjusted to the left. But remember, this rework, which is more of a refresh, is not finished, and calling this finished shows a lack of craftsmanship and attention to detail. There's no excuse for this one at this point, as they've had eight months to get this one right. Damn boy, ye thick boy. That's a thick ass boy, especially when compared to the grease gun. If you saw my video pointing out these issues prior to this video, then you will remember me pointing out the issue with the rear sights being out of alignment with the front sights. This is an issue on many of the British guns, and specifically the Sten, which after many iterations they've decided to ditch it for the Sten V5, which is a great change and this gun shoots well, and also doesn't take up nearly as much room on screen but it's still too damn big. This is a comparison of the SMLE and the Garand. I think most players would say that this is one of the best decisions Team 17 has made regarding the British weapons. This gun sounds awesome and performs just as well. Just for comparison, let's check out the size difference from the Garand with the carbine overlay. Notice how they are basically the same width, including the hand. Check out the carbine with the SMLE overlay. Looks great. If Team 17 spent the time to remodel a new gun, why not use a similar gun for reference of size? You're 95% of the way to making the gun perfect, but apparently that's good enough and us plebs can go pound sand. Just for a quick size comparison, let's look at the grease gun with the Bren overlay. I would love to see the Bren sight opened up a bit, to balance out the lack of visibility of the gun taking up the right half of the screen. To be fair, when we look at the Bren overlay on the carbine, 
and we compare the sights, the carbine does have a smaller sight by just a tiny bit, but it also has the side posts angled, which adds to the visibility ever so slightly. We all want to be excited when a British map pops up, and currently every player knows how disadvantaged they are because of the lack of usability with these weapons. So from a player's perspective, this is not ready to be called the last rework, as there is still details that are clearly not finished. Acting like nobody will notice and having a good enough attitude is what cost the trust of the player base back in June of 2023. And with all of the new players entering the game due to Game Pass, it would be a shame to move on from something that's pretty close to being perfect. The British weapons seem to be getting the same treatment as Stalingrad, which has never seen a single day of smooth gameplay. Moving on because you're tired of working on the same thing is the same reason Black Matter sold the game. So to have its successor treat the game the same way is a real shame. Let's hope that roadmap isn't full of a bunch of great ideas that will never become a reality. See ya.